Okay. Um, I'm going to introduce uh, Dr. Miranov. His title for the webinar this evening is New Horizons for the Erbium YAG Dental Laser, Realizing the Lightwalker's Capabilities, a Scientific Comparison of the Lightwalker's QSP and MSP pulse capabilities compared with the high-speed drill. Dr. Evgeny Miranov uh, is the owner of Dental Studio Miranovi in Sofia, Bulgaria. He practices uh, general endodontic implant laser and aesthetic dentistry and has completed several advanced courses in all of these areas. Dr. Miranov is currently working on his master, his master of Science in Lasers and Dentistry degree from the Aachen Dental Laser Center uh, in Germany. And the, uh, the AALZ, the Aachen Dental Laser Center, works in cooperation with the Clinic for Dental uh, Conservation, Periodontology, Preventive Dentistry at the University of Excellence in Aachen. And it is known for its research in laser-assisted dentistry and is one of the, uh, if not the premier, advanced uh, master's program in the world in laser dentistry. Uh, we really appreciate Dr. Marinoff taking his time out of his busy schedule and also staying up very late for us because I believe it's about uh, 2.30 or 3 o'clock in the morning in Bulgaria. So, Dr. Marinoff, without further ado, I'll turn the time over to you, and, and we appreciate your uh, sharing your research that you've been doing with us this evening. Thank you, Mr. Bateman. Welcome, everyone. I want to uh, show you one uh, study uh, which I'm doing uh, for my master thesis in Aachen and uh, I decided to promote this earlier because I got some uh, very interesting and nice results with uh, in vitro tests uh, on a bovine teeth and uh, I was uh, very very glad of these results and I wanted to show to the audience I had a chance to meet uh, Mr. Jeff Jones in Slovenia uh, and we organized this webinar for you. So I will begin with a short explanation of the technology I uh, promote and I use uh, every day in my practice. This is uh, one uh, feature of the Lightwalker machine, AT, Lightwalker AT. It's a QSP mode, and uh, in brief, it's a quantum square pulse, or I uh, tell it a quick and silent preparation, because it's uh, clinically notable that you are you are faster than uh, other modes like MSP or normal super short pulse, and you're maybe. Uh, 30% quieter. We didn't uh, check the decibels uh, till now, but uh, I plan to do this. And uh, you can hear the machine is working a little bit quieter, and the patient uh, feels more comfortable uh, because uh, you know the, no the the level of noise uh, usually afraids and scares the patients, and they they are afraid so afraid of uh, high speed drill because of the sound. So we have a real advantage to use the lasers, but sometimes, especially in uh, uh, larger energies, when you uh, are over 300 millijoules and you are a little bit uh, far from the working field, from the tissue, there is a noise which is uh, like a hammer knocking. So with the QSP mode, this sound is uh, reduced. and uh, I will tell you uh, in brief about the physical basics of this uh, mode. Uh, first, when we talk about the excavation tissue with the laser, we have to, to, to know that we are working on the basis of ablation phenomena. Ablation is a thermal vaporization of the water on the border with the dental tissues. So, uh, it depends on the absorption in water and the spray which is supported from the machine, it's water and air spray, 
it's not only the cooling effect, but this is a mediator, and you, you have to, you, you need the, this spray, this water, to have a successful ablation. When you have enough energy, or average power also, you are in a cold ablation modes, cold regime, and all the energy is absorbed in the uh, cloud of uh, water in there and uh, enamel parts. So you have just removed all the tissue without the thermal effects in deep and without side effect of a pulp damage or hypersensitivity or something else. So the key for successful laser treatment is to avoid these thermal effects. So if you lower the energy, this ablation will turn in warm and hot or either you, you don't have no ablation, you, you can have no ablation. When you use a very long pulse with a low peak power, you have coagulation, but this is uh, very important for soft tissue, so this is not a problem. This is a, again a feature of the machine, but for hard dental tissues we need a cold ablation modes. So, to be sure in the, this uh, cold ablation, we have to remove the side effects, the unwanted effects of the absorption in the debris cloud. Because you know when you shot the, uh, you, you, you got first shot on the enamel, the debris cloud goes, rises up and the energy of the next pulse is absorbed in this debris cloud. So energy transmitted to the tissues is a little bit lower than we think we have. So this changes the ablation regime and you go into warm ablation and if this is deep, you, you can get some thermal effects. So to avoid these thermal effects and to have a clean cut and the nice borders, sharp borders of preparation, the QSP mode is invited one year ago. Uh, it is based on the chopping the signal of the long, long pulse into five uh, shorter pulses with the 60 microseconds pulse duration, thus allowing us to have uh, high peak powers with uh, very high pulse energies and we, we have to up to 100, 120 hertz rate possible for abium yak. Uh, why is this possible? Because we calculate the hertz rate, the repetition rate on your machine and you calculate it uh, times five because in every pulse uh, you, you have five pulses, uh, five shorter pulses. So the postlet spacing between these short pulses is very short but it's enough for debris cloud to fade away so you got every, every pulse in the clear conditions and you deliver the clear energy as much as you need to the tissues. So it makes you sure you are in code ablation regime and you deliver the energy what you need to the tissue. Uh, this high repetition rate up to 100 Hertz is good working in soft tissue management and I show you later uh, some examples of uh, gingivectomy that you will see that uh, because of the high Hertz rate in soft tissue you got some warming effect and a co coagulation effect added to very clear cut used uh, the delivered this clear cut because of using uh, short pulses because you know if the pulse is longer there is uh, appears a coagulation and the cut is a little bit wider than you want it to be so we go into the next slide about this in vitro study on the bovine teeth uh, I choose uh, three modes of QSP modality for this assay because of my clinic experience and uh